Hey guys, now in today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the Bamboo Labs upgrade kit that takes a Bamboo Labs 3D printer from a P1P version to a P1S. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with the Bamboo Labs line, these printers are some of the most reliable, easy printers to use. But more importantly, they're one of the most fastest. We're talking about, in, I would say, creating prints that would typically take three to four hours, but take an hour or less on this printer, depending on the type of print that you're talking about. We use these daily and we do them in mass. And I was just recently introduced to the Bamboo Lab line through Bamboo Labs when we first got our first P1P. And they released a new upgrade kit that takes it to the next level. And we've seen a lot of benefits from it. I'll give you some of them for example. First of all, we've noticed that we used to have, because it was an open frame model, the P1P, we noticed that in some cases our prints would lift or warp in some corners, depending on where we printed it in, in the printer, especially since we run this in a cold room in our home. So temperature is kind of like a challenge when you're dealing with printers because you have heat and cold. And when it comes to plastic and I would say melting plastic, they don't really go well together. So having a controlled environment is really important. So what we can see now having run, I would say, over 60 different products through the actual E1S is that every single print is flawless. There is no warping. I don't have to worry about the temperature of our home compared to where we're printing. Everything is great. The other thing that we notice is that having this case that you're going to see in a second is actually made it quieter and it looks great too. So this kit basically adds panels, door, additional fan, cooling both for the CPU as well as for the parts that are being created and it just creates a better experience for the products that we're, we, we create, which are primarily PLA. So let's go ahead and check out the actual upgrade. But I'll tell you right now, if you have a P1P, get the case kit. It's absolutely worth it. Get it. You won't regret it. Uh, if you're considering purchasing a new printer and you're thinking about P1P versus P1S, go for the P1S. Spend the extra hundred bucks. It's absolutely worth it to get everything installed. Uh, it takes about an hour a little bit longer to do, especially for someone who's experienced. For someone who's not experienced, it's going to take a lot longer because there's a lot of those screws and a lot of changes that you have to make. So again, one of the fastest, highest quality printers on the market and the most affordable as well. So let's go to check it out. Now, the first thing we want to take a look at are the upgraded components to your P1P taking into a P1S. First thing that you notice is that you do have a glass top. So we're going to go ahead and remove the glass top so you can see what's going on inside. And we can see the other pieces that have been improved. Uh, you have your drag chain, as you can see right here. It does come with an adapter that allows you to uh, run the Bowden tube to the back, so you don't have any, any concerns there. On this side, what you'll find is you also then have this plastic uh, cover that covers this area. And this is something that I found that was different because what ends up happening is when you actually implement this, you run into a problem with the actual light. You have to move the light one level down, and you're going to have to print a different version of the P1P light, one that is closer to the X1 carbon because it will not fit if you put it down here. So the light that you have on your P1P, and I had mine was one of the original ones, like one of the very first coming off the line, was up here, and I had to move it down here and change the actual bracket, which I'll show you. So the original bracket that I had on the lamp was this right here in the LED lamp, and you'll notice that it basically has a riser to it and it lifts it up somewhat. The one that I had to print is a lower one. And this is the same one, but you'll notice the difference in height. Uh, this difference that you see right here, and you can see it on the side right there, this difference really makes a, a, big, a big difference, if I could say that twice. The difference is, is that the actual head, as it's moving this way and it comes this way, will not knock into this. So you need to change it. I'll include a link so that you can uh, download and print this as well. But that's one of the changes that you'll have to make. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is part of the kit includes a front face template, and that template's going to include not just the front that gets replaced with the plastic, but then also gets uh, a top portion here that allows real nice alignment with your glass top. Now, this is what the side panel will look like. I really like this color. Uh, on the X1 carbon that we have, it is silver. You have this dark view. I really like the dark gray. I, I went ahead and I printed a side spool mount just so that I can put a third spool in addition to an AMS. Uh, we didn't have an AMS with this, but I stole the AMS from the X1 Carbon that we have. And just to show you guys what it would look like mounted. Uh, but for the most part, love this look. I uh, printed this guy on the side here just to make it easier for me to mount uh, filament on the side so I can have the 
uh, rolls that I have, which is going to be four on the AMS, and then I have a fifth one on the side, especially as I'm just printing standard colors. Now, you do get a replacement back for your printer. Uh, you also get a fan, which you didn't have before, and this also includes that activated carbon filter, which I'll show you on the inside. And pretty much that's well, all you find. Now, one of the things that I'll highlight about this is that when you're doing this build, you really want to keep track of all your screws. Um, I did have some screws on this model that I could not remove. Uh, they were just stuck there. Uh, they, even though the Allen key could go in, uh, they, they just wouldn't turn. Uh, so I had to figure out how I'll take those up. But I wanted to get this built up so I can show you guys what it would look like. So I'll probably take off the panel and then look to like, get a some type of tool that will allow me to extract it so that I can put all the screws that I'd like to have them there. On the inside, the only thing that you'll see that's different is the placement of the LED uh, that is lowered now, and it's free and clear. It will not crash with the actual head as it moves. Um, on the back over there, you'll see that you have your active carbon filter that's been added, and pretty much for the rest of the printer, it's the same in the inside. Uh, the one thing I will mention is that I do find that the printer, now that it's fully enclosed, a lot quieter. So I really enjoy printing more from this than I did before, and I may move it from being in our standard area to my studio where we do printing as well, but I was looking for something that was much quieter, and it's made a big difference, so we'll probably move it there for the short term. Now, as we look at the inside, not much has changed. I did upgrade to a different build plate. Uh, so I have this build plate, but then you'll notice that I have my cooling fan and that cooling fan actually came with the P1P. It's also, you get an extra one when you do the upgrade, but I had this as part of the, the first generation that I received. Uh, the LED that I moved over and you see the camera is still there in place. And one thing I wanted to highlight that is that after all the upgrades that we put in, the P1P is still recognized as a P1P, not a P1S. Now, again, the benefit of this type of upgrade is being able to print ASA, ABS, and also PETG in a environment that you'll have little to no warping. So guys, that wraps up that upgrade. And again, I recommend the P1P, or in this case, the P1S. See you in the next video.